Namaste everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in this video. So in today's video, we are going to look at how to predict the nature of the spouse. Okay. And uh, this is a part of the ongoing series that we are doing on the seventh house. And we've covered a lot. You know, I had initially intended to cover only the attributes of the seventh house, but then because of your requests and the uh, everything that people wanted to know over the series of videos that I've shared. This is, this video is an outcome of that, you know, of that uh, series. And uh, in today's video, as I said, we will be looking as to how to predict the nature of the spouse. But then before we go to the meat of the topic, kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And please share the content with your friends and family if you think that they are also going to benefit from this content. Okay. Uh, so, the nature of the spouse is not indicated by the seventh house of the Rashi chart. Let's put this thing in perspective first. You have to calculate your Navamsha chart. Okay, so you can use any Vedic astrology app to calculate the Navamsha chart, and that is known as the D9 chart. Okay, and this is also known as the Bhagyamsha. And, uh, some people say that Navamsha actually activates after marriage, which is not completely true, okay, because Navamsha is all the Vargas, all the, you know, 16 Vargas, they are always active uh, when the person or the individual is born. Anyways, that is not a, that is not the focus of our discussion today. So you have to look at the seventh house of the D9 chart to predict the nature of the spouse, okay? And... Uh, Let's say the first, uh, if uh, the first, uh, if the seventh house of the D9 chart is ruled either by Aries or Scorpio, then, you know, your spouse is bound to be very aggressive, but very energetic as well, you know, very ego dominated. And uh, the spouse is, uh, will supposedly take upper hand in every work. Okay. The body construction of your spouse would be very strong, you know, would have a reddish face, <clears throat> have a bold nature. Okay. Uh, the voice will be very tough or loud, okay, or diplomatic, depending on the situation, okay, and the appearance would be very, very, you know, physically attractive. In uh, the common term, it will be very sexy, okay, and uh, these people will have, your spouse, that is, will have a lot of interest in work related to research, management, sports, you know, in uh, cooking, okay, and uh, working with uh, light or current in the field of electricity, okay? And these people will be very patriotic, all right? Uh, they can also have a job as a trainer or a teacher in a sport facility or a gym, okay? And other jobs might be, you know, belonging to that of police, army, or engineer, or even IT background, okay? Now, if the seventh house of uh, the Navamsha chart is uh, ruled by, you know, Taurus or Libra, <laughs> then... You know, these people, the spouse will be very smart in appearance, you know, will have a fresh, you know, will have a very, uh, will have a very good looking face, okay, very attractive face and would love to dress up in a very clean and uh, composed manner every day. Okay. By nature, they will be sweet, you know, very cool and calm, always sporting a smile on the face and helping others. Okay. Sometimes uh, these people may tend to be very philosophical in outlook, but they will be multi-talented, okay? Uh, they would come from a background of, uh, you know, of business or finance, even, uh, you know, have a background in taxes, such, a, such as CA or CS in India, okay? And uh, sometimes they can also be from the field of movies, okay, from the field of television. And... Uh, I've seen people having this combination, their spouse having a vehicle business or, you know, carrying forward a family business. Okay. So anything that is related to Venus, art, music, you know, theater lovers, television lovers. So these are the, you know, these are the professions that you can expect your spouse to have when your seventh house of the D9 chart is ruled by Ario Taurus or Libra. Okay. And usually these people, they would be very fond of luxurious things, branded things including, you know, watches as well as beauty products. Okay. Now, the seventh house of your Navamsha chart is ruled by Mercury or Virgo. Then uh, your spouse will be very smart. Okay, They will be street smart, all right? Have a very jovial nature. Will be calculative, you know, very talkative, slightly flirtatious by nature. 
and uh, we'll have a very round or a glowful face okay and these people they would work where a lot of data is involved for example as accountants you know as uh, speech writers or mimicry artists as uh, data scientists you know teaching mathematics any kind of manipulative work for example sales okay it bpo and so on okay now the fourth house of your navamsha chart is ruled by the sign of cancer then uh, the spouse I will have a very homely nature. You know, will be very emotional, clean-hearted, very soft-natured, and would always uh, want uh, the love of the family. Okay, very caring. You know, would love to cook as well as be a foodie. Would love to, you know, would love peace and quietude. Okay, and these people, they would, uh, you know, they would always get a lot of love from the public. Okay, and your work would mainly be related to to healing you know to building houses water business or any liquid business okay not alcohol business any kind of liquid business like juice then import export agriculture you know business related to marine life or even a marine job okay now if the fifth house uh, sorry if the seventh house of your navamsha chart is ruled by leo then uh, the spouse will be very very dominating okay if we full of ego and uh, if not then the then confidence would be a very common thing in these people okay so as i said uh, uh these people would be full of ego but on the inner side on the inside these people will be very humble reliable you know truth loving and uh, you'll find these people working mostly with the government as you know business leaders as uh, you know as the heads of certain organizations Uh, i have also seen these people engage in the business of gold jewelry gemstones precious things you know business of wheat then trading and then uh, you know in the business of uh, government tender and so on okay overall these people will be very self oriented as well as very independent in their outlook and behavior all right seventh house of the yeah. uh, Seventh house of the Navamsha chart is ruled by Sagittarius or Pisces. Then these people would be very knowledgeable. Okay, very knowledgeable, very philosophical. Would always want to do something, not sit idle. Okay, some people would have a you know the spouse would have a fatty appearance. Okay, tall. Will have a very jovial nature. Will be very sweet. Okay, would be a God believing person or a God fearing person. Uh, would be very respectful of the culture. the society or the nation that they are born in okay they would be very charitable would possess good knowledge of you know of religion like mantras you know uh, ancient history of religion and even you know own languages like sanskrit or hebrew and so on okay so you'll find these people mostly working in the education sector or in schools colleges you know temples and then uh, doing meditation work as well as charitable work for example working in ngos and so on all right then uh, if the seventh house of the navamsha chart is ruled by saturn that means if the seventh house is ruled either by capricorn or aquarius then uh, these people would be very very serious looking okay very hard working very karmic uh, you know very fond of doing their work on time very disciplined sometimes greedy okay having a very conventional and traditional outlook never adopting things easily these people would be career oriented would have a harsh voice okay uh, usually i've seen these people working in iron business you know in a uh, mineral oils like black oil or petroleum okay engineering then industry as a uh, you know as a head of the panchayats and so on <laughs> i've also seen these people work dealing uh, with uh, businesses related to you know mining and then cooperative cooperative houses okay and usually they are very very lazy but uh, you know if uh, saturn is actually retrograde in the chart then these people would be very very active okay they would have a very matured outlook about themselves and about life okay and uh, usually these people are bound to have rough skin okay they would have they would uh, just have very minimal piece of you know very minimal number of clothes and would always try to dress in a very traditional way okay and uh, the one thing to look out for in these people is that they are very very humble humility is going to be a very prominent factor okay so this is how you can predict the nature of the spouse do let me know if it agrees with you and uh, 
In the next video, we will be looking at how to predict the hobbies and interests of the spouse. Okay. So I hope this video is helpful for most of you who had put this question, who had put this request to make this video. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already. And uh, if you want a consultation regarding your chart, please reach out at the number provided in the description box. Okay, so that's it from me in this video. I'll see you soon in yet another video. Namaste. Om Guru Vinamaha.